Hello everyone, Pally Time here with TGN.TV. BlizzCon is going on right now, and Blizzard is releasing a lot of new information about how they are trying to make your character different from the other characters, mainly with their new talent system. I already made a video about the Mage talent system, and this video will cover the Shaman. If you like what you see, please hit the thumbs up button and let me know what you think about my choices and the choices that you will be making in the comments below. We are going to start out by taking a look at the tier 1 which you get access to at level 15. Now please keep in mind that there still are elemental resto and enhancement specs. These are just additional spells that you can bring in to make your character unique from other characters. I'm sorry if I was not clear enough in my mage video, I saw some comments kind of speculating that this was a terrible talent system and it would never work. It seemed like you guys were a little confused. Uh, these are basically just ways to make your character unique and fit your playstyle. Alright, we start off with Frozen Power, which makes your Frost Shock freeze the target in place for 5 seconds. This sounds uh, very similar to what Enhancement Shamans do, although I have never played Enhancement, so I could be a little wrong there. The Earth Grab Totem sounds exactly like the Earth Bind Totem that the Elementals currently have, where you put your Earth Bind Totem on the ground and it roots targets near it. The Repulsion Totem sounds incredibly interesting, and uh, I think that's the one I'll be going with. It has a knockback effect on the totem. Granted, the totem doesn't have a lot of health, so in a PvP situation, skilled players will probably just focus that down immediately. But still, a knockback from a totem has a lot of very cool and very interesting potential uses. In the second tier, we will have access to a lot of defensive abilities. Uh, at level 30, we get to pick between Nature's Guardian, Stone Bulwark, Totem, and Astral Shift. Now, Nature's Guardian is currently in the game for Resto Shaman, and whenever, your, whenever damage attacks bring you below 30% health, your maximum health gets increased by 10 seconds, and you lose some threat on the target that was currently attacking you. Uh, pretty basic stuff. Basically, you passively get more health to keep you from dying. Now, the Bulwark Totem... Uh, summons an Earth Totem with 5 health, blah blah blah, for 30 seconds and grants the caster a shield absorbing 2,649 damage, assuming that will scale. That sounds a lot like the Glyphed Stone Claw Totem, and uh, the interesting part is that it refreshes every 5 seconds, so it will no longer be a one-time absorption, which sounds very interesting to me. So the last one, which is Astral Shift, you seek Haven and basically take... 50% additional or 50% less damage, but also deal 50% less damage and healing. So it's kind of your oh shit button. You press that if you're about to die and it reduces uh, the damage incoming, but also makes you a lot less efficient at what you're doing. Based on these choices, I would definitely pick the Stone Bulwark Totem simply because it will refresh itself and keep you alive longer and you don't get any uh, nasty penalties from it. For the tier 3 choices that we get at level 45, it's all about being immune to certain effects. You can improve Ghost Wolf, Windwalk Totem, and Tranquil Mind Totem. Improved Ghost Wolf will allow you to remain in Ghost Wolf without being snared, so you can't be slowed down and caught up to. The Windwalk Totem will put a totem down that benefits your entire raid. Please, please keep in mind that the Ghost Wolf is only a self buff, and the two totems are raid buffs. The Windwalk Totem will put down a totem for your whole raid, that allows them to not be affected by movement impairing effects. So it's the same thing as Ghost Wolf, but in totem form. And it lasts for six seconds, whereas Ghost Wolf lasts as long as you stay in Ghost Wolf, presumably. And then the Trinkle Mind Totem does the same thing, but prevents um, interruption and silences. This one, I, I don't really know. This is a hard choice. Um... Typically in PvP, I'm by myself, so I would probably go with Ghost Wolf. Um, but I could also see the uses of both of the other ones. I might have to sleep on this one. That's kind of a hard decision. Moving on to Tier 4, which you have access to at level 60, it focuses on healing mechanics. For instance, Healing Tide Totem is basically the same thing as a Mana Tide Totem. You put it down and it ticks for health instead of mana. The only difference is that it will heal the 5 most injured raid members. So in a 10 man, that could be incredibly effective. That's half your raid being healed. Ancestral Guidance, when you deal direct damage or healing for the next 10 seconds, 40% of that amount is copied as healing to a nearby injured ally. This is a good way for the Enhancement and Elemental Shamans to also help contributing to the raid, I feel like. It has a three minute cooldown, but when you know that there's a heavy damage phase coming up in the fight, you could hit this spell and then pop your DPS cooldowns as well, and you would actually be doing a considerable amount of healing. Fortifying Waters, allies standing within your healing reign 
get a 10% reduction to incoming magic damage. I find that one to be the least interesting. Um, if I was playing Resto, I would most definitely go with the Healing Tide Totem, but because I am playing Elemental, Ancestral Guidance for the win. Moving on to Tier 5, which you have access to at level 75, we see Elemental Mastery, Nature Swiftness, and Echoes of Elements. Let's start with Nature Swiftness. This is a spell you're very familiar with if you play a Resto Shaman. It passively increases your haste by 5%, and when activated, your next spell becomes an instant cast, your next healing spell. Uh, very obvious choice if you are a Resto Shaman, in my opinion. Well, actually, maybe not so much. Let's move on to Elemental Mastery, and then I'll discuss the last option. Elemental Mastery is the cooldown for Elemental Shaman. If you press your button, it will make your next damaging cast an instant cast and give you a buttload of haste and damage for the next 15 seconds. Both of those are nice, and both of those are a cooldown that you have to manually press. Or you could go with Echoes of Elements, which is very interesting, and I might actually have to crunch the numbers before I make the decision on this. It actually sounds a lot like the um, current Mastery mechanic for Elemental Shaman. But when you cast a damage or healing spell, you have a chance to gain Echo of Elements duplicating that spell's effect. The current Elemental Mastery or the current Elemental Specs Mastery, I guess I should say, gives you the chance to shoot your spell again. So if I just shot a Lightning Bolt and my Mastery propped, I would shoot another Lightning Bolt. And that sounds like a passive for that, which would just increase my damage further. Again, I don't know what they're doing with the current Mastery. Uh, another very, very interesting choice. I don't know what I would go with. I'd have to crunch the numbers. Tier 6, which we have access to at level 90, has one change that I have been looking for since forever, since totems were introduced. We have Elemental Harmony, uh, Totemic Restoration, and Totemic Projection. Oh my god, Totemic Projection. Relocates all of your active totems to a specified location. Thank god, Blizzard. It only took you like 8 years to hear the Shaman community. Good lord. All right, then we have Totomic Restoration. Basically, if you destroy a totem before it is meant to be destroyed, before it expires naturally, the time left on the totem is then reduced into the cooldown. So let's say you throw down a Fire Elemental totem. Uh, you have to move it because you didn't pick Totemic Projection. You have to move it, and there's a minute left on its duration. It'll take a minute off of the cooldown. And then Elemental Harmony, you may summon multiple totems of the same element simultaneously. That sounds very intriguing as well. But because I've been asking this for the past forever, and I don't want to sound like a hypocrite, I will be going with the Totemic Projection. All right, so that, that covers the Shaman talents. Again, there are still Resto, Elemental, and Enhancement specs. These are just spells that you can bring in to fit the playstyle to your playstyle. And uh, I would love to know what you guys think and what you will be picking. And also, if you like this video, please let me know in the comments below and hit that thumbs up button. Again, this has been Pally Time with TGN, and thank you all for watching.